You know, it felt like someone was stabbing me in the eye with a toothpick. No, I couldn't give up on training or my camera, so I just pushed through and shot with my good eye. My name is Corbin Lundborg, and I'm a combat cameraman in the U.S. Air Force Reserve. I'm stationed in Charleston, South Carolina at the 4th Combat Camera Squadron. When I got my packing list for SEER school, I saw at the bottom that I could bring a disposable camera with me. I ended up finding a plastic camera that was made in the early 1980s. This camera is considered a toy. It's extremely unreliable. And you really can't control the settings on it. The reason I brought the plastic camera with me is because it's really inexpensive. The conditions we were in, it was a good chance the camera was gonna break. This broke, I'm out $25, and I can handle that. I used a dog tag chain to hold the camera around my neck. I kept it inside my jacket during the day to protect it from the elements. It was snowing, some rain. It was pretty nasty out there. We were sleeping in snowbanks at night. It was the middle of winter, and I believe temperatures fell into the low single digits. I tried to protect the exposed film as best as possible. The camera was only allowed for a few days of training. Each roll of film captured 12 frames. I had three rolls, meaning I had to make each shot count. I ended up taking a stick to the eye out there. Hit my eyeball, and my eye got all swollen. It was red, dripping tears, and super sensitive to light. I knew I couldn't give up on my film project, so I just started shooting with my good eye. After our time in the field, I had a doctor check out my eye. I had a corneal abrasion, and I was seeing blurry for the next couple weeks. I returned to Los Angeles, and I had the film process. The digitals I got from the company were really small, so I ended up rescanning them myself using my own camera. After scanning the negatives, it all started to come to life. The images were dark, gritty, and cold. It was exactly what I was going for. Sear so school is something that you can only do once in the Air Force. I wanted to make sure that these memories were captured forever.